get tempted, you know. But how can we maintain our purity? In Psalms 119, it says, How can a young woman stay pure by obeying the Lord? Who has a Bible on them right now? Heard of you can maintain your purity, you can maintain your purity, you can maintain your purity, you can maintain your purity. Okay, you get it? You can maintain it. And even if you have, don't have a Bible with you, if you own a Bible, you can maintain your purity. Because by obeying the Word of God, a young person you can stay pure. Now, by young, I don't just mean, oh, I'm not 19, I can't take pure by obeying the Word of God. It means if you have lost your virginity and you are 30, divorced four times, whatever, but you want to start again and you want something fresh, you are a young woman in this new spiritual realm. Because God is starting something fresh in you. So you consider yourself the same young woman that's starting something fresh. That God wants to restore your purity by obeying His word. Now I have these points that I need you to write down. Because they're super important. With a star and a smiley face next to them. Okay, and another star. Yes, I like stars. The first point, renew your mind. Renew your mind. Write that, really big. And, and look up Romans 12.2. Says, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. It's not telling you to be perfect. It's telling you to transform your mind into God's perspective. Because God doesn't expect us to be perfect. He expects us to trust the perfect one. So we can chill. You're going to make mistakes, but if you're trusting Him, then everything's okay. So renew your mind. Renew your mind. Focus on God's plan, not yours. Some of us have some crazy plans in our head. You know, if I read three verses a day, two times a week, fast two and divided by two, I get a husband for six years. Yes, it will happen. No! It's not a math equation. It's not, if I fast 30 days, God will make me meet people. And he will ride with me. No, it's not going to happen. You have to change your perspective. It's not, you know, I walk like this. This and if I walk like that, he will notice that. Okay, no, that's worldly perspective. And if you do things the way that the world wants you to do it, you will gain a worldly reward. Which is why so many of us are broken. Because we expect rewards, but we look for them from a worldly perspective. So you will get a reward. You may get a one night stand, but that's all you're going to get. But now, if you have a heavenly perspective, you will get a lifetime of true love with the one who God has ordained for you. Yes? Yes. Yes. I am excited. Because I know God has something. Just letting you know. And I better be invited to all y'all's weddings. I'm not kidding. This right now marks the day. I have witnesses. I want to be. <laughs> Meditate on the word of God. That's the next point. Meditate on the word of God. In Joshua 1.8 it says, This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, that you may observe and do according to all that is written on in it. For then you shall make your way prosperous, and then you shall deal wisely and have good success. Spend time with the Word of God. The Word of God is sharper than any double-edged sword, penetrating to soul and marrow. What does that mean? It means that you will gain wisdom when you read the Word of God. It means that when you read the Word of God, it will not only penetrate your soul and your mind, but you will realize people. You're going to walk down and there's going to be a guy, and without reading the Word of God, you say, oh, cute. Okay. Reading the Word of God, you say, ooh. Okay, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Okay, I'm being straight up with you. I'm being completely real with you. Okay, now I'm not saying that every few guys have heard. What I meant is that when you read the Word of God, He will teach you how to penetrate the soul and marrow and look at hearts. You will be able to see people through hearts. Now that doesn't mean that you're gonna walk like this. Yep, I see your heart. You sin. <laughs> no, no. Okay, it means that you're gonna walk knowing who you are. Okay, obeying the Word of God. Living with your boyfriend. Huh, people look up. Okay, yes. Living with your boyfriend. If you're not married, you're entering into a purity problem. Now, you may not be having sex, but you're getting really close to the burner. And you are, you're tempting him. What in the world? Come on. You know, you're tempting yourself. Do not live with an engaged person. Do not live with your fiance. Do not spend the night. No. Now, be accountable to someone. Your small depleter wants to be part of your life after this encounter. They do. Be accountable to someone. Um, guarding your heart. Everything comes from the heart. In James, I mean in, I'm sorry, Proverbs 4.23, 
Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it spring the issues of life. The issues of life spring. Everything comes from the heart. So if you're doing, if you're doing poorly in work, check your heart. Check your heart. Everything in your life has to do with your heart. So we have to guard our hearts. Guard your heart. That was Proverbs 4.23. And then in James 4.7, this is one of my favorite verses. I don't know. I can't say I have a favorite verse because it's just the word of God. But James 4.7. Submit yourself then to God. Resist the devil and he will flee. Um, yes. That is a good one, girl. Work it. Let's say it again. Ready? <laughs> Submit yourselves to God. Resist, Resist the, the devil, devil and he will 